and what we're seeing today is a is a I think a lunge of the American public to the left. I, I really don't see how we get out of that. It's on the right. It's on the left. It's depressing. Um, you know, and 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 one of the one of the you know signs of that is the now resurgence of Marxism. Marxism is now you know back. It's sexy. Socialism is back. It's sexy as Venezuela is occurring right before our eyes. As another socialist state implodes. Marxists are coming out of the woodwork. Marxists are everywhere. Socialists are everywhere. To make the case for socialist Marxist agenda. Uh, I, I, I was reading this article in Vox. Um, why are millennials? Why are millennials burned out? Question mark. The answer is capitalism. Turns out there's a new book by a guy named um, Malcolm Harris called Kids These Days, Human Capital and the Making of Millennials, where he argues that the millennials are bearing the brunt of the economic damage wrought by late 20th century capitalism, not late 20th century mixed economy, late 20th century capitalism. We haven't differentiated ourselves from, from the mixed economy. We haven't said no. The late 20th century was not characterized by capitalism, it was characterized by the mixed economy. And, and it's the socialism within that mixture that's created the problems. He says, all these insecurities and the material conditions that produce them have thrown millennials into a state of perpetual panic. It's generations, quote, generations are characterized by crisis. Then ours is the crisis of extreme capitalism. Extreme, the problem today is extreme capitalism. I mean, what a joke if you understand anything about what capitalism is. Now, this Malcolm Harris, it turns out, is a Marxist. He, he, in an interview here, he writes, well, I take, uh, I take a very Marxist perspective on the world. Marxists would refer to this as an increase in the rate of exploitation, meaning workers are working longer, harder, and more efficiently, but are receiving less and less in return. Right? I reference Marxism here because conventional American economics don't really have the term for this. It's not something they like to talk about because they don't recognize that capitalism is built on exploitation. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, this is really bringing Marxism back. You know, uh, uh, um, Marxism was deemed unsexy. But now it's back. It's popular. It's sexy. It's cool. This book is going to be a bestseller. Always a bestseller. So there's the supposed gap between productivity and hourly compensation. And supposedly workers are not being paid for their productivity. For your level of productivity, then all you have to do is leave your job and, and go find a different job. Somebody's going to pay you more. That's how markets work. There's competition for labor. But you know, these people don't understand markets. They don't understand what's going on. They distort the data. They, you know, make it up if they have to, uh, as, as Thomas Piketty uh, did quite a bit. And they tell us the story about how awful the world is, how the middle class is being left behind, how life sucks for the middle class. And by the way, all of this is not the result of the mixed economy, maybe the lack of capital investment, because that capital is being taxed away from the producers. It's not because of the redistribution of wealth and the disincentive of people to work. It's not all the licensing laws and reduce the number of entrepreneurs in the economy and therefore reduce the number of productive jobs. No, it's none of those things. It's extreme capitalism that we have today, which is a problem.